Alright everybody, so welcome to another episode of Cartron. So today we're going to be looking at the brand new 2023 Toyota Prius. As you can see, the design is the main selling point here. It is drastically better than the previous version. I mean, it doesn't look far off from, you know, if the previous gen Toyota Prius and the new Huracan, <laughs> Lamborghini Huracan and the Baby A. Um, it looks fantastic. Unfortunately, um, the European market hasn't quite gotten all the trims yet. Um, for example, here is uh, the French website at 43, uh, 44,000 euro. Here is the German website at 45,500 euro. Um, but for this video, we're going to be using the US website because it has all the trims and I prefer you know, showcasing all of them at once. So. If you actually go to the compare models um, thing here that Toyota provides and actually go through the exterior features, um, the projector beams, the headlights, the everything, the interior, as you can see here, all, it's all standard equipment, right? Yeah, yep. You realize how the LE all-wheel drive and the XLE are very, very good for the money. Um, the audio and multimedia stuff, again, these are optionals and standards on the limited ed editions. If you want the uh, 23, um, sorry, the 12 inch screen, the big, very big one, instead of the 7 or 8 inch one, that's a standard. So there we go. I think the 8 inch one is honestly big enough. It still has Apple CarPlay and Android, Android Audio, uh, sorry, Android Auto and whatnot. Safety and convenience, again, um, apart from the LE all-wheel drive, you get um, all the parking assist stuff as standard and the performance wise again security the same stuff uh, apart from the all wheel drive which could be useful for some regions um, just really isn't there so yeah fantastic and obviously the all wheel drive for some reason gets like four more horsepower honestly looking at all the specs here I would either go for the LE all wheel drive or um, the XLE. Honestly, uh, in a family car like this, unless you're in a snowy region, you don't need all-wheel drive, right? So I think I would personally go with the XLE just because it has better standard features rather right, than the LE. And it's not that big of a price gap between the two, all things considered. Although the LE does get slightly better fuel economy. So I, I mean, I, I, I would honestly pick between these two, because these seem to be the best uh, bang for your buck, especially considering the all-wheel drive LE is only a bit more than the standard. I mean, it's barely a grand over the standard, right? Um, but yeah, you do lose a bit of fuel economy with most of these, if you realize. Um, but honestly, I mean, if the extra two MPG is that important, I mean, why? First of all, secondly, I guess you can just get the LE or the LE all-wheel drive instead of the XLE. I'm gonna go with the XLE though, because, I mean, this is a family hatchback, like, you know, people carrier. It's not that important having the four-wheel drive system. You get the two-liter four, four-banger, uh, good enough. Uh, even, even a bit too much, I would argue, in this day and age. I think Toyota could have gone with a three-cylinder. But, I mean, the four-cylinder is already plenty, uh, you know, um, powerful enough, I suppose. So, the exterior colors are gonna be around 500 bucks uh, um, extra. Um, I would, on I mean, the gray is a bit boring, in all honesty. Um, I would go for the Guardian Gray, which is standard color with the XLE. Um, it's like a gunmetal gray, and I think it's one of the best out of the bunch. Reservoir Blue, also very nice. I just prefer... The gunmetal gray, honestly. And the gradient can be black, or it can go with the gray one. For the interior, I would go for the gray one. Adds a bit of more variety instead of just being on black and black and black, you know. <laughs> Let's go over to the next step, shall we? You have some cool little features here. Digital key, honestly. Do you seriously want to pay 300 bucks for a digital key? Not to mention, remote connect subscription required. They're gonna make you buy a digital key for like your smart device and whatnot for 300 bucks and then charge you for a subscription. I mean, do you do they think we're dumb? <laughs> I mean, like, really? 
Toyota? Really? Um, this is a cool option. I'm glad they added the option to get the big touch screen even on the lower trims. 700 bucks? I mean, that's around how much you pay for an iPad this, um, this size, so I don't see why not. And the screen is plenty nice, um, as you'll see in the pictures right now. Let me look at that. Plenty big, right? There we are. Fun for all the family. Face glass roof. Honestly, I will get this. On long trips, which the Prius is really good for, for you know, the fuel economy, the comfort, all that stuff. Ease of mind, they won't break down and combust. Um, I think it's all very nice. Although, I wonder why I can't add more than one package here if I'm missing anything. Interesting. Huh. That's weird. Before I start recording, I test this out with options so I guess you need to get the package um, together then that's all right so the package fixed last roof plus the you know the old multimedia stuff will be this one right here with the options there we are then and that adds the glass roof and the thing and doesn't really cost extra all right not bad so accessories you're gonna can have the old real floor liner package honestly you might want to shield these out if you live in a human zone or like to go into a camping with the family or, or whatever the case may be really really get these all right it'll be worth the money um it's much harder selling a secondhand car when it's time to sell your prius um if it's you know it smells like a wet dog <laughs> Uh, you know, that wouldn't be the best experience out there, if I'm honest. The seats are reclinable though, and you get a, quite a lot of space in the back, so you could do some proper camping stuff with this, I imagine. Alloy wheel locks, not really that important, I imagine. Save, save the 80 bucks or don't, that's really fine. Side body moldings, let's check out the details on here to showcase it. So yeah, basically, you get some little trim here on the sides, I'm not sure if this affects the aerodynamics. I imagine it may a little smidge bit. However, you know, if you get a kid bumping a shopping cart on the side of your car, it may not get dented. Or if it, it, if it does, it'll be the little line here. Do you really want this? I don't think so. I saw this feature on other cars, like some Citroëns and whatnot, some French cars have this, where you can have some like, like black plastic trim on the side in case like the door gets uh, bumped around and whatnot but the problem is it's okay so imagine you have the car on the side here okay you have the car looks great right trim here okay makes it look a bit uglier that's fine you bump the shopping cart and now the trim you just put in is all is also scuffed so either way you have a scuffed car it's not like the trim is something easily removable either you still have to like go to a mechanic i imagine to like get it you know and um, unclicked out of place so why why have it um don't get this all right cargo liner again um if you're getting some work at the back get it it's worth the money while selling a second hand you can get the cargo net a cargo tote again these are just floor mats like that you can get these from like an etsy shop i imagine not really like that obligatory in my opinion again key gloves i mean come on Mud guards might be a useful option. I would actually get this just in case. Um, paint protection film, all that stuff. Again, you can get these done in an auto shop, but uh, you know, 500 bucks, 400 bucks. I'm not quite sure if that's a reasonable price, if I'm honest. Again, like tablet holder made from the most pristine of plastics, um, 99 bucks. When mo most people, with the kids in the back, probably gave them a tablet that's worth around the same amount so I'm not quite sure cat shield and um, you know that's uh, cool I suppose what's uh, all that about cat convert shield have protect okay so yeah in case you, um, there were some cases of so the priestess with um, theft where they stole the cat converters I would get this just in case if you live in a slightly sketchy neighborhood and you know you want uh, ease of mind the portable solar kit is quite cool actually, you can charge your batteries on a little day trip. 45 watts though for $500, I'm not quite sure about that one chief. I would probably not go for that one. Again, just so many little knickknacks that you can get with this. 
And honestly, most of these are very specific. The first aid kit might be nice just in case. I mean, the little dog protection stuff, if you don't want them scratching the seats. Oop, what's that? Just uh, went blank there for a second. Again, if you don't need any of these, the dog hair remover. We can get these outside of Toyota. So I will just get uh, them. Again, more accessories. You have God knows how many here. Exterior and accessory packages. Again, production package. If you, just, if you want to get a better deal on these, just get one of these, really. And next step, um, here we have the full spec. XLE, Guardian Grey, um, Grey and Black interior with the face glass roof and the bigger screen option. And this comes out around the same price you would pay for the XLE all-wheel drive. And I think getting the glass roof and the bigger screen and whatnot, and the mud guards and whatever of course, makes more sense rather than the all-wheel drive system. Because again, like, unless you live in a snowy area, you don't need the all-wheel drive, let's be honest. I mean, are all-wheel drive cars a bit safer? Yeah. But I think, feel like the, the person driving the bloody thing is such a bigger, um, you know, like, uh, safety factor to the passengers of the car than the all-wheel drive system in most cases, in most cases. So yeah, I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, that'll be all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment. Um, share the view with all your, I don't know, uh, retired grandmothers and whatnot. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.